Dr. McGeorge here with how it works and how effective this is, Doc. Yeah, Karen and Jason, so here's the thing. Insulin pumps that give routine infusions of insulin without repeated needle sticks, well, they've been around for years. And glucose monitors also aren't new. But when you combine them with some very fancy software in the bionic pancreas, you get very close to what a person's real pancreas does to naturally control blood sugar. This pump was smarter than us, and it knew what to do. Let it do it. That's Davida Kruger, a nurse practitioner at Henry Ford Health. She's one of the contributors to a recently published paper on the bionic pancreas. In fact, Henry Ford Health enrolled the largest number of patients testing the new device. Here's how the system works. A glucose monitor checks the person's sugar, and that's wirelessly relayed to the bionic pancreas. Depending on the level of the sugar, how fast it's changing, and whether the person has eaten, the software tells the bionic pancreas pump to give a dose of insulin to lower the sugar, or it can also give a dose of a medicine called glucagon to raise the sugar, ultimately keeping the glucose in a near normal range with very little input from the patient. Over time, and it doesn't take long, within a week or so, that pump gets to know how you eat, how you respond to what you eat, and how much insulin to give you, and that's all the patient has to do. It knew enough when blood sugar started trending down to lower or turn off the insulin. So the patients were still protected and we still saw a benefit. I think we're pretty close to it becoming a reality. Um, the study we just finished was an FDA mandated study. But most important, was the patient response. In some instances, I actually had to wrestle the pump out of their hands because they had to give them back to me um, and say, you'll have to wait till it comes to the market. Now, the bionic pancreas isn't the only product of its kind. In fact, there are already advanced setups known as closed loop systems where glucose levels and insulin delivery are being done with less and less burden on patients. Now, I should also mention the bionic pancreas in this study was actually tested without even using the glucagon to increase the mm. sugars. So how much comparative wise is bionic pancreas better than what they're using now? Well, that's an important point. You know, in this particular study, when the patients used the bionic pancreas, their hemoglobin A1Cs, which is really a blood test that measures long-term glucose levels, A1Cs dropped significantly compared to people who didn't use the new system. And these were actually people who already had good control. So the bionic pancreas was actually even better than existing care. I mean, how can you say no to something called the bionic I'll pancreas? take anything bionic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's right. <laughs> Only a few people know that reference nowadays. Oscar and Steve Dating Austin. Myself. Yeah. Here, no, <laughs> we, we get it. <laughs>